Yo, 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 we are back for some more Pro-TA World Championship 2023 action. Again, these games were played in October of 2023, so a few months ago, as it is now January of 2024. And these are the finals games between good old family-friendly Knob Gobbler in white on the left and Tag Metten in red on the right. If you didn't already know, this is the map Brain Coral. No, it is not a pro version or a V version or any other silly version. This is just straight up OG Brain Coral. Now, when the map list was chosen and uh, announced, there's a bit of, a, of an uproar because, let me just show you, on the right side here, you spawn, I believe it's like right here or right here, somewhere right around where Minton built this first uh, title. You have this mix that's closest, this one that's the next, and then way over here is the third. On this side, mix, mix, and then the third is right here. So you have access to three mixes that are, you know, relatively close. These ones are obviously uh, closest. And over here, just one, this one's still pretty far away, and then this one's like really far away. All right, so when I was doing my maps, picks, picks and bands, <clears throat> I, I knew that I you know, was less experienced and less skilled than pretty much everybody else, so, I did not want to risk getting this side, even if it's just a very minimal disadvantage. Um, I didn't want to risk being disadvantaged at all. Uh, and, you know, in a game where people have been playing for decades and know, you know, little tricks and uh, just are better players than I am, I, I can't give anybody an advantage. Um, if I can help it. So I, I ban this map every time. I did not want to play it. Um, but, you know, we'll see if this comes into uh, into play. Um, right off the bat, I, I don't know how I feel about um, Metten walking his commander so far. Like, he, he needs the metal, so I understand it. But um, you see, Knob over here staying home, he's going to be able to get out more uh, skeets. That's another thing, they are both playing arm. I, I find very interesting. Or, especially in Protier, is just better. Uh, the units cost less, um, they build faster, just better overall. And Warlords, Warlords super OP. I guess Knob is uh, making a trip up here. I figured he was coming over here to grab some reclaim, but I guess he'll use his con for that. Hmm. All right. We got total. They're even. Got units. Knob is up one unit. Hey, that that uh, extra metal quick got Knob that one unit. <laughs> There's the game right there. <laughs> no. um, Metten walking his commander and taking these is definitely helping him out. I wouldn't be surprised if he's ahead now. Yeah. But um, Knob is going to be Catching up and surpassing Metten uh, pretty quick here because Metten has this one con out and he's walking his commander while uh, having his lab slow build. Knob, on the other hand, con um, expanding, con guarding the lab, build another con, and his commander is walking expanding too. So, um, this has the potential for Knob just to get 
really early skeet numbers and get a nice advantage and then snowball from there. That is my prediction that uh, Knob will catch up and surpass Metten on the metal. We'll have out more skeet production and then just overrun them. Yeah, you can tell Knob is over here just searching for cons. Um, oh, I forget, how's Tidal? Um, there are four skeets up there. No skeets. This guy's still slow building. Oh yeah, title's 29. I knew it was good, but I couldn't remember exactly how good. So in if the game can get to uh, you know, mid game or even late game maybe, uh, you'll see some massive title farms. I would be getting one of these back over here to guard the slab immediately. Like I, I probably would have gotten this guy out. Like, instead of having him go cat maxes, I probably would have gotten him back over here. ASAP. Because it's not like Metten is hurting on the metal right now. He's fine. Yeah, so, you can, like I mentioned, he's, he's good on the metal, so he's using his commander to drop another lab. I, personally, I would have preferred to um, just start by putting some cons on this lab, but, you know, to each their own. We should be seeing another lab uh, going down for Mr. Gobbler here soon. Mr. Family Friendly himself. Shout out to Postal. So this has been a pretty uh, quiet game so far. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. On our coverage. Nice. I have a feeling we're about to see some action though. Can't see each other yet. But they're positioning pretty well. Yep, there goes his second lab. wonder if it'll be a con. Yeah, okay, cool. Because there's plenty of stuff up here to cap. This guy gonna guard or go cap some more stuff? I wonder. Ah, oh, bro, come on, this poor lab. Like, help me, please. All right, so Knob is coming in to, I think this is probably just a poke, to see what's around. Um, Metten is a little late to respond. He had his forces all around and he's pulling them back kind of late. It might work though. He might get a nice surround on Knob's units. Uh, Knob's repositioning the, the bottom. This is gonna hurt, getting this con. So I'd get it and pull out immediately, yes. Nice. Alright. During this, Knob is still expanding. And then straight pumping skeets. Uh, he's sending a secondary raiding party up to the top. Found another con here that's going to go down. So Metten obviously knows about these guys coming up here. Oh, Metten's going to try to counterattack now. Um, 
Hmm. I don't know how much he's going to be able to get done. So defender's advantage is real. Knob will be able to reinforce his units much quicker than Metten. And with his labs being here and here, he's going to get be able to get a nice surround. So Metten, I think, is starting to realize that, and he's going to pull back. Yeah. One thing that I've learned is that with units in general... Um, well, he started to pull back, but didn't. Um, one thing that I've learned is that if you are taking an engagement that you know does not look good, um, pull back directly the way you came. Don't try to angle. So a lot of times what I would do is I would I would come in and I'd um, like my units would come in this way. Yeah, he got a con. Cool. So my units would come straight in, uh, encounter a, a um, you know def defenses or other units, and then I would try to like pull off at a diagonal. Well, so their units are already looking straight ahead like this. Your units have to turn and go that way. Just the little, the little time it takes to turn allows their units just to walk forward and get a good angle. And I, I've lost armies that I shouldn't have um, just because of that. Um, all right, so back to here. I I guess Metten is trying to search for a con down here. Um, the problem is, is that his units were so spread out that, like, look at the giant area that they take up. So... Nob was able to just come in the middle, break them up, and he just killed all the, not all of them, but just killed a decent amount of reinforcements. And uh, I don't know, this isn't looking good for Metten. I will say that he is, he has expanded pretty nicely. Let's do a... Yeah, so Metten is ahead on metal, um, but Nob has this nice reclaim. Uh, to be fair, there's still a good amount of reclaim. Oh, what the? I guess, I mean, it's a lot of labs. <laughs> it's a lot of labs with not much build power. Um, so the reason he's doing that is he doesn't want to access the metal. And that's why there, there's all this metal still left to be reclaimed. But, I mean, I, again, it's just different play style. Like, I would have my commander guarding out cons and then, as needed, have a con start another lab. Con comes out, start a lab, start a lab. Um, taking your commander and walking and building all of these, that takes valuable time away from him assisting lab, putting out units. Yeah, so see exactly what Nod was doing here. He con lab, con lab, con lab. And then his commander's been on this same lab the whole time. I can't, so while did he ever, yeah, this one's not even being assisted yet. So while Metten has more labs, I guarantee you, if not already, pretty soon, Knob's going to outproduce Metten by a lot, just by having these guarded. And uh, poor Metten, these units being so strung out. Um, when when you fight a, this is really nice though, getting this energy in that con. So when you fight in the sea, you really want your units clumped up. Because, first of all, pathing in the sea is just awful. Or pathing in TA is awful, but when you're in the sea, it's like ten times worse. So, 
like you can have a move command. Look at that. Look at how spread out those got when they were already clumped. So if Metten had a large force and he saw that going up, he could just like put his ball right in between and cut uh, Nob's forces in half. And if you're not careful, like if you were Nob in that scenario and you had a giant line of units going straight up here, if you're not paying attention, these units will keep going, whereas everything in the back will get stuck, so that your units wouldn't all turn and fire. These guys would be up here, and these guys would be stuck without any help. Um, man, Metten is really, really expanding nicely. Yeah, he's 5k up on metal. And he's going to have a nice loot of reclaim here. Oh, bro. You need cons, man. Like, look at all these laps. And the commander walks so slow underwater. Yeah, this might be over. Um, Metten, bro. I, I think this game was yours. I really do. So all Nob's going to do now is just have his units parked right here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he route... Yeah, here we go. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he has his rally point for his labs, like, right back here. So then everything just flows in here and just cuts off everything Metten's trying to do as it comes out of the lab. he'll have his crusaders just chill like back here yeah there's one there and just pump out damage skeets up front for protection Metten realized uh, that he needs some crusaders of his own yeah so I, I think it's done um, with uh, Nob being able to get in on top of Metten's production like this and having the um, his labs guarded he's able to put out more yeah this game is over <laughs> that's cheeky I like it Oh, Metten. Look at all that metal. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. That's what we know. Yeah, Metten's still 4k up on metal. We'll say it does look like Nob is accessing a good bit of energy. Um, I mean, it's not hard to do when... Yeah, that's it. GG. Um, yeah, I, I, I really think that game was Metten's to, to have. Um, I'm sure he, when he reviewed it, I'm sure he was not happy with how it went. Um, I'd like to hear what changes he thinks he should have made. Personally, I've said it the whole the whole game. I think he should have just built in cons with the with one of the labs. I personally do the lab with my commander. I use that one for all cons. And then I just make labs with my cons and have two or three uh two or three cons guarding that lab. Um yeah, I don't know. Well, that's game two. So Nob is now up on the finals, two to zero. Um, yeah, see you around for game three.